I will need you to take Claudia to a mental asylum in New Jersey. I'm afraid I can't go with you, for I fear for my life. Listen to me, servant. If you let her die, you're out of a job. Yes, I promise everything will go well. to greet you! <laughs> oh, oh, please settle down. It's only a gag. Actually, my friend Georges Mallier made it for me. What can I do you for? Hearts? Blood? Reanimation? Claudia, she's very sick. We were told you could help. The estate at which I'm employed is happy to compensate you for your work. Well, yes. I suppose I could help you although my methods are rather unorthodox, often criticized by many, but I believe they are the answers, and I have no use for your money. This is strictly for research. If you're willing to believe, I can give you life. You know I once too had a very young and lovely wife who I had lost to an illness, and since her death, I have devoted my research, my work, into helping others. So you think you have the cure for her? Yes, I do have the cure for death. You see, life is more beautiful than all the rubies and diamonds in the world. Well, if you are really sick and dying, we have no time to waste. Please, time is of the essence. We must save her. We must save her. Come with me. How much longer must I wait? I must have some kind of answer. I need to know she's okay. I'm afraid I have terrible news. What's what's wrong? Have you have you diagnosed her? Yes, I have diagnosed her. You see, she's already dead. And there was nothing I could do to save her. Now you have nothing. Not a lover and not a job. You have nothing left to live for. Nothing left to live for. 